to talk about why we're here for the news cameras and also for people who might not be keeping up with the news. Uh, we have a serious problem with economic inequality and economic injustice in this nation. The top 1% control 43% of financial wealth. The bottom 80% controls just 7% of financial wealth. That means that out of 100 people, one person gets almost half the wealth, and 80 people share one sixth or just 16% of what that one person has. That's not justice. That's no. not fair. Is that right? You guys yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Unacceptable. <laughs> this data, by the way, only goes through 2007, okay? Oh, my. And the economic recession oh has hit the middle class. It never ended. It's harder than it has hit the top 1%. We all know they that. They barely even noticed. We champagne. Yeah. <laughs> champagne, what's that? Gas got expensive. Let's talk about the Bush tax cuts, okay? <laughs> they're, they're a huge contributor to our deficit. We know that. But I was surprised to you know, I just found this out a few weeks ago. The Bush tax cuts resulted, on average, we're talking about on average, for people who earn about $50,000 a year, which is the average income in America, the Bush tax cuts, was, I think it might be a little bit less, like that, the, the average income might be a little bit less than that. But anyway, for incomes around $50,000 in America, the Bush tax cuts resulted in a 2%, average of 2% income tax credit for the middle class, while the Bush tax cuts resulted in an average 10% income tax credit for the top 1%. Boom! Last year, in 2010, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in a case called Citizens, Citizens. United. Corporations are defined as people with the same rights as you and me. Not true. <laughs> Let's see Texas execute one. They are not people, which includes the so-called right to spend unlimited money influencing elections. Which is not right. Without disclosing. Right? Yeah, 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 disclosing yeah, how much yeah, they're yeah, donating. Yeah, that's right. Sneaky. <laughs> Which means we have a serious problem with the majority, I wouldn't say the majority, but let's say like the outcome, the output of what our elected representatives are doing are not representing about a 90%, 99%. They're representing the interest of the top 1%. Right. Because that's who's financing their campaign, campaigns, and that's who they're representing. We've seen lots of evidence of this lately. Uh, for example, and if you need any citations for this data, I've been doing a lot of research and a lot of blogging, on this topic, I blog for Liberal Lamp. My blog is liberallamppost.com. I also write for addictinginfo.org. So I do a lot of research on this. All of this is properly cited. So email me at occupyrally at gmail if you need the citations. And. <laughs>Recent protests in New York City and across the nation have resulted in dozens of arrests. The main theme of these protests, fixing the economy. WRL's Tara Lynn joins us now from our newsroom following a meeting with these local activists. Tara? Renee, it is a movement that started with a few people outside of Wall Street, and now it's moving across the country and right here to Raleigh. People gathered tonight to join the Occupy Wall Street movement and voice their anger about the American economy. As the sun set over downtown Raleigh, dozens shared their frustrations in Moore Square about the country's failing economy and the bank bailouts. We bailed out them, and the taxpayers' money bailed them, and they didn't sacrifice anything, but they actually benefit. I've never done anything like this before, but, and I don't know everything that's going on, and I don't pretend to understand it all. I know that I get up every morning and I bust my butt to take care of my family. And I'm still getting nowhere. Tanya Glover and many others gathered for the first time as part of Occupy Raleigh. It's a group echoing the concerns of hundreds of protesters outside of Wall Street in New York. This is what democracy looks like. Who say they are tired of the richest Americans having the most power. Maybe we need to start with the anger and then, and then develop the proposals based on that. Uh, to push those forward. Congressman Brad Miller came to listen. He says the movement has been criticized for not having specific proposals to fix the lopsided economy, but that may be okay right now. And I think people here, for instance, uh, if you ask them, they would all say, yeah, banks ought not be as big as they are. Uh, there were legislative proposals. I, I introduced one in the House uh, that went nowhere. But if there was a movement behind it pushing it, 
would, it would make a big difference. It's groups like this that have changed America. It may take a long time, but it will happen. Glover says this is just the beginning of the movement and believes what may have sprung from anger could one day return the power to the people. The group's next step is to plan an official rally in Raleigh, and they plan to do so later this month. Renee? They certainly have some strong opinions. Tara Lynn, live, uh, live in our newsroom. Thank you. It's just a plan. Legalize it. Hey, Brandon, you're gonna. I forgot to put an SD card in here. The airplane and the radio have together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the Victims of a system that makes me talk and imprison innocent people. For those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate. The unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, 
Don't fight for slavery. Fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world. That will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason. A world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! America that's lost its way. Uh, I, I do not see true democracy. Uh, I do not hear the voice of the people. Finally, we've risen up. We are 99%. We are 99%. striving for, but I mean, I think it all needs to happen. This Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
I brought my skates. I'm like, I'm not marching around the city. Now I'm a mobile camera. The 99%! Please! Uh, the 99%! The uh, 99%! The 99%! Uh, the 99%. Uh, the 99%. behind uh, Occupy Tampa. Uh, why are you here? Uh, we're here to show solidarity with Occupy Wall Street, who's protesting uh, corporatism and American greed and corruption throughout the American business system, and just in general. Um, but we're also here to try and assemble the people of Tampa and empower them to have hey, their voice heard. Uh, to come and voice Kong, right here. And um, I just want to check in with you guys and quickly and uh, let you know what's going on. Hi, guys. How y'all doing there in internet land? Uh, things are going good here. We got some good rest this weekend. Uh, the goals and, um, of the movement aren't I was, uh, defined yet. Hi, the General Assembly has not met. Uh, uh, what up, Spartacus on IRC? All right, so I just wanted to let you guys know what happened at a kind of summary meeting. It wasn't exactly a GA here in Minneapolis tonight. Um, we don't I was not know, like an official participant in any way, but I just wanted to share the quick uh, message doing. with you about so, what you know, we were talking uh, about. Person, um, I don't want to say that I thought overall you know, the turnout was really good. The weather was really nice this night, and there was just a lot of really genuine people, and it was cool. So overall, like things, are, things are looking really good here in Minnesota. I think we should all feel good about where Minnesota is at right now. So, okay. All right, and not only that, also really excellent literature for posters. Has been developed. So if we can so do this, we need to go the citizens of Tampa hey, meeting the General Assembly. assembly. Um, you know, even so if it's just a some core, you know, a festival or something going on. to bring the this people This was done by the, uh, the people out with their uh, children, I think the children, media children, delegation. I'm not even sure the name of the team. Um, but uh, they're looking good. That's what I see. So, do you see these demonstrations moving towards something bigger that will grow within the next decade or so? So, I, I thought they did a really good job of up some really nice stuff. Yeah, they did, these are nice posters, symbolic. They did a good job. All right, so, um, yeah, I just wanted to run down. Um, they basically had a messaging committee jump right out in front and kind of um, develop some initial messages that will be uh, laid out in the QA. Um, and uh, we'll uh, get in on that real quick. All right, um, so um, I think we should be setting up a new internet that says DR or doctor. Um, that would be good. Yeah, shadow dark nets, well. mesh nets. You are the working people. Um, you are the working okay. class. You have so uh, this you was basically a sheet that was handed here. out from the messaging team. This one has the top cut off. Or er, actually, uh, yeah. But basically, okay. people before profits. Make the rich 1% pay. We, the 99% want our voice heard. We demand jobs, healthcare, education, housing, infrastructure, and collective bargaining union rights. Bullet points include tax the rich and corporations, end the war, bring the troops home, cut military spending, protect the social safety net, to strengthen the social security, improve Medicare for all, and corporate welfare for oil companies and other big business interests, transition to a clean energy economy, reverse environmental degradation, protect worker rights. 